Recently, I've been struggling with feeling like I have to define myself and to try and find a path that I want to take and stick on. But the truth is, I can't. I can't decide to be one thing because I'm not one thing. You're not one thing. None of us are one thing or definable by any label, situation, circumstance, or look. And I think that's what freedom is. The freedom to not have to be understandable. The ability to be different. There's such a lot of beauty in that. And I think it's being lost all the time. And I've learned the only way out of this is to free yourself. Whatever that means for you. For me, it means running on the beach, of course. <laughs> but truly, I feel like freedom is diminishing every day in the world. And I just want to get it back. Good morning. How are you doing? Today, we're going to be going on a mission because I want to be free. I want to just roam, you know? So let's do it. I need to get out of busy places again because, oh my god, I spent an entire day looking for matcha. I went to Starbucks, bought a matcha, hated it. Decided I needed to go for the ceremonial grade matcha. So spent like an hour and a half, two hours hunting for it. Found it. And then decided to buy a bunch of other stuff that I definitely needed. Like a mini blender. An alarm clock that lights up as the sun rises. And then obviously, I needed to buy an entire coffee bar. So, let's go. Let's be free people, let's do it. Because there is so much dog shit around here as well that I, I need to leave. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh my gosh, I forgot I forgot to tell you, Elton John lives around here, or like one of his houses around here. Woo! The houses are incredible. If anybody lives here and would like to um, donate a house to me, I would be really grateful. Okay, I'm half joking, half actually being quite serious. If anybody has a place around here, please um, hit me up, especially if you don't use it because I'm struggling a little bit. I'd like to get some water and I'd like to shower. So if anybody has a place in the South, hit me up at the email in my bio. I also want to make friends, so please. If anybody would like to join me, I'm very, very bored alone. I kind of am borderline losing my mind a little bit. So if anybody would care to join me, I'd prefer you to be female and my age, but I'm open, I'm open. So again, emails down there. Email me with a few little details about you, a little picture so I know you're real and yeah, see what we can do. I'm being serious as well. <laughs> Like, please, I would love to meet you guys. I'm actually going to a national park, so... Oh, it's so pretty. Why am I allowed here? Like, camper vans are never allowed in places like this. <gasps> Look at that, how nice. Oh, I'm so worried that there wasn't gonna be a space. <sighs> Perfect. Oh. I think there's supposed to be a few walks, so let's see if we can go on one. I know that's very unlikely to say that I actually am gonna go on like a, a hike, but we're gonna do it. Let's go. Okay, I have my hiking outfit on. Don't look at my socks, they do not match. 
and I do not like the trainer lifestyle, but I'm having to wear them right now. Also don't have a backpack. Van lifer that doesn't own a backpack and has lived in her van for 18 months, still don't have a backpack. Okay, great news. I've got my camera bag, so that's gonna have to do. I wanted to take the fresh strawberries, but unfortunately the lens is taking up half the bag. So we're gonna have to go with crunchy fruit and um, ride wild blueberries let's just shove it all in that will do oh my god i love having a backpack what everything just fits in it oh my god it's so comfortable to carry you know what i actually think handbags are a scam this is amazing <laughs> all right let's go I forgot how nice it was to walk in the woods. <laughs> I haven't actually been on a proper like hike walk thing in so long. No one here as well, which is really good. I have such an affinity for barbed wire and fences like this, and I'll tell you why. I used to be obsessed with Walking Dead. Like all I wanted was a zombie apocalypse because life looks so exciting. Do you get what I mean though? If you've ever watched Walking Dead or like an apocalypse thing, life looks so interesting and so exciting. Like there's an element of survival, which I love because I think we have everything way too easy. And sometimes I get annoyed by the lack of inconvenience of like van life, but I love the kind of innate kind of pre <laughs> prehistoric drive to constantly move and survive. I love that. I love experiencing that and I think that's one of my favourite things about van life. Okay, just washing my hair. Wish me luck because I left the hot water on too long and I don't have a mixer tap. I was gonna install a mixer tap the other day, but nothing in my van has ever leaked that I've installed. And I don't wanna change that now. It's okay, it's all right. It's summer soon, so, you know, don't really need the hot water that much. Ow, fucking hell. Okay, just finished washing my hair. I ran out of water right at the end, like the pump starts going do, 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 do. And do you wanna know what I did the other day? I didn't realize my shower was on. Like it's never ever done this before. The shower head was on and the water pump was on. And I noticed this massive puddle under my van and I was like, I haven't used the water. Like I haven't used that much water. And then I went to the back, looked in the tank and it was empty. 65 liters of water just gone because I left the tap on whilst driving and I just didn't realize. But yeah, I wasted my most precious resource. It took a lot of effort to fill up. I was not happy. All right. Let's dry this mop. I'm just getting ready to go out. And oh my God, so many people have like been looking in my van. There's people outside like inspecting it. I'm just like, why? What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you stop? I feel like, so I've had to like shut all my blinds and everything because people keep like looking in my van. I don't come to your house and stare through all the windows. It's like I can park in the city centre and nobody cares. I come to somewhere I think's quiet, everybody's looking in my van. I don't understand. Okay, hair's almost dried, almost there. <laughs> I'm just making Gigi's gin dinner and I bought this new dog food. And do you ever like, if you have a dog, do you ever just like smell it and it's just like... <laughs> Like, it smells good. All those people who have been looking in my van, they're literally sat on the bench next to my van on that, the, ugh. I don't want to go outside. It's quite funny though, cause I don't think they expect to see this fabulous bitch step out of the van when they're busy being judgmental. So. All right, I'm gonna get changed. This is genuinely how I have to check an outfit. Okay, mirror, you just kind of got to chuck it down here. Find the correct distance. 
Okay, very bad angle, cannot see anything. Oh my god, I don't think these shoes go at all. Still can't see shit. Oh, that gravel was a bit tricky. Can't make the decision. I feel like if it's not a hell yeah, then it's like a hell no. I feel like they make me look a bit like a brat's doll rather than a touch of elegance, which is more what I need right now. But I do live in a van. I don't have all the shoes I need in here. Should we go to Paris and buy some? This is like the kind of thoughts in my head every day. I'm like, let's just go to Paris. Let's go to Paris and just go on a shopping spree. That'd be so fun. Fuck it, I don't know if that looks good or not. I actually don't care. I might just go out in slippers at this point. If we don't end up going out, blame it entirely on the fact that I have to have a photo shoot right now. I'll show you the process and then I'll show you the results. Okay, we've got to find the sun. Sun is here. Timer is good. Right, let's go to Ez. Okay, I'm slightly concerned that I've left it too late now and all the restaurants are gonna be shut, but I had to take that photo shoot. There's nothing more fun, in my opinion. I love it. There's nothing like creating art with your very own body. Also, I thought I heard like a dangerous animal. Turns out it was just a pigeon. I was in the middle of taking pictures and I kind of shat myself a little bit. I was like, oh no. This is where, you know, there's like a series of pictures taken and then one, the last one is like me getting attacked by like a bear or something. But there's just two pigeons, so it's uh <laughs> a little less dramatic all right <laughs> let's go what a wonderful view it's a shame you can't see it from the car park actually look at that look at the sea the sea Okay, two problems. Number one, there's nowhere to park. Number two, um, my indicators have just stopped working. Like they've literally, just, what are they doing? they're kind of, they're working sporadically. It's really weird. But like all the electrics on my dashboard are going really weird. So I think there's some kind of like wire issue because it's literally telling me nothing else, but the things are just going. It's really weird. I don't really know what to do. This space feels way too good to be true. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I think this is a coach park because it's not like uber busy yet. They're just letting anyone stay in it. Oh, you are a godsend. Either that or I'm gonna get towed. It's all good, let's go. Okay, she's just eating something under the chair. Stop! She's such a shit. I found the restaurant I was looking for. They literally have two things on the entire menu and I don't like either of those things. And the reason why I wanted to eat there was because the view looked amazing. It was uber expensive, really nice restaurant. But I realized the view is the same that I can get from over there. And I have a steak in my van, which I actually like. So, I can't believe I'm saying this, but let's go cook dinner in my van. Look how many steps there are, handrail. Oh, fuck. Right guys, I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to scoot. No, I can't scoot. Fuck, I don't know how to get down. I would take them off, but I'm wearing odd socks. I'm actually not being dramatic. This is genuinely the only way of going down here. If Gigi runs away right now, I, I literally cannot catch her. Gigi! Shit, where is she? Gigi! Oh my god. Guys, Gigi literally ran away from me. I couldn't find her. I can't find her anywhere. I have never ran so fast in my life. Look at my socks. I genuinely just had to walk around like that. Where were you? Where did you go? Oh my 
my gosh, that was so dramatic. <laughs> right, let's, let's, let's do this, let's go. Okay, here we go. And over here is Ez, up there, that's where we were. I chopped up loads of garlic. Oh, I've literally had the same pan the entire time I've lived in my van. I'm just praying no one comes and parks like right behind here because I want a good dinner. We deserve a good dinner. No. As if two people are just rocked up with this stupid fucking music. I just want a romantic meal. Looking at the view with my steak. Why? This is why I want to move off grid. I just can't deal with other people. Oh my god, leave, just leave. I can't. Anyway, cheers to Ez. Cooked to perfection. I'm getting better. So much better than that restaurant would have been. This is where van life wins. Would I be sitting on a comfortable bed? No. Oh, that was rather spectacular. Wonderful! That was amazing. Okay, let's go find a different parking space because I don't like this one. <laughs> No! I feel so sorry for them. They've got nowhere to go because there's just houses around here and roads. And they've got their whole little family of boars. And it's not like I can just get out and help them. And then one got lost. That is tragic. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, found a space. I just, I can't believe what a dramatic evening this has been but yes had a weird evening but it kind of turned out pretty great but then it wasn't that weird because every day is kind of just weird but thanks for hanging out with me and i will see you next friday bye <laughs>